In this video, we're going to talk about Google Team Drives. What is a Google Team Drive? Well, let's take a look here. Uh, so we're going to open up our Google Drive. And you'll notice um, we have My Drive and then we have Team Drives. So um, what Team Drives are is it's, it's a shared space where teams can easily store, search, and access their files um, anywhere from any device. Um, unlike um, my drive, um, the, the files in a Team Drive, um, they belong to the team instead of an individual. So um, once you have a Team Drive created, you can have members uh, join and leave the team drive group and your files won't be affected by whoever leaves and uh, joins or leaves the group. Um, so if, if I have a, if let's say I create a folder in my drive and then I share it with a bunch of people, if I leave the district and then my files are um, all deleted, then um, all of those files that are in the files, the folders that I share, they're no longer available to the other people. So with team drives, that doesn't that doesn't happen. Um, the files stay exactly where they are, um, no matter who joins or leaves the group. So how do we create a team drive? Well, let's um, go to a different computer here for a different account. Um, so let's go ahead and open up Google Drive again and click on team drives. So the first time you open it, um, since there's nothing in here yet, um, you'll have this uh, button here. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a team drive and we'll just say, uh, We'll just call it a test folder here. So okay. So we've created our first uh, drive under this account. Um, it has one member. And um, if I want to add some members, I just click on that. And so I'm going to add myself. And I want to give, I'm going to go ahead and give myself full access. Um, so I can, anyone with full access can manage uh, members. They can uh, upload, edit, delete all files. Um, so that's fine. And it's going to send me an email saying that I've been added to this uh, team drive group. So now there's two members in the group here. So let's go back over to uh, my email. Okay, so this, it sent me this email here. It says, uh, district hosting has added you to the, to the district team drive test. And then if I go ahead and open my drive here, um, this is the drive that was just created. So let's go ahead and throw in a few files. Um, let's go ahead and, and Um, let's just grab some, uh, let's grab some PDF files and some pictures. Well, let's just grab some pictures here. So I'm just going to drag all these into the team drive. And I also want to go ahead and create a couple subfolders. Uh, 
Okay. So now there's some content in here. So if I go over to uh, my account, um, and I'm in this uh, district team drive test folder. So now all the files that I uploaded are available for me to look at. I can delete these since I have um, since I have full access. I can uh, I can delete or I can I can take some of these files and I can drag them into one of the subfolders. And I'll take the rest of these and drag them into the subfolder. And then if I go back to this other account, um, the changes are reflected in the district account as well. So, and then I can add more uh, users. Um, let's say I want some couple users to have view only. So I'll send this to Josh. And I'm just going to skip sending him a notification since this drive will probably be deleted later anyway. Okay. So we have two members with full access, one member with view access. So in, no matter if district, if the district account is deleted, these two members will still have access to the team drive. Um, another thing real quick, you cannot drag any files from my drive straight over to team drive. So that might be a um, possibility in the future, but at this point, if I try to drag, or maybe I can drag, let's try this. Okay, it says folders can't be moved into team drives yet. So you can't drag from my drive over to team drives yet. So what you would have to do is you would have to download these files onto your computer and then re-upload them to the team drives. So that's uh, it's just a basic overview of team drives and um, their good to use if you're going to be sharing files and folders across a lot of people or just a few members and you don't need to worry about the them being deleted if um, members come and go from the group. Just a quick update. Um, after you create your initial uh, team drive, um, if you want to add another one, you just click on team drives over here and then you click this new and then um, And then um, it'll create that other team drive here. And uh, you do that by just clicking this new button here. One other quick note about uh, team drives. Um, like I said, uh, no matter who is who joins or leaves the team drive group, the files won't be affected. But if you want to delete a team drive, um, even though under this account, I was the one who created this drive. If I try to go delete it, I can't. And that's because if I hover over this little um, exclamation point, it says the team drive must be empty to delete it. So to do that as a, um, as a member or as a full member of the drive, I can go in here and delete files but I can't actually delete the drive unless it's absolutely empty. So I can go ahead and delete this subfolder and this subfolder. So now the drive is empty. And then I can go in here and right click and delete the team drive. So just, uh, just a quick note about how to actually delete the drive um, if it's no longer being used.